If you only have $800 to spend on a bike, you could do a lot worse. So today we're talking about the Marin Palisades Trail 2. So Marin is a great brand. Uh, we've been carrying Marin for a while now here at Jensen USA. And I really like what Marin does. Um, they do really good geometry on their bikes. They do good component specs. They're at a good price point. So Marin is a great brand. We love having them. And the Marin Palisades is no exception. So there's a couple different versions of this bike in the Marin lineup. Uh, this is the Palisades 2. And I'd say the ideal rider for this one is gonna be someone who is getting into the sport and maybe you're not sure if you're really gonna dive full into the mountain biking. Maybe you're coming from the roadside and maybe you wanna dip your toe in but not quite sure if it's really for you. So this is a great option. There's some really good things that Marin does here that I like. Um, so first we'll start off with some of the components on here. Uh, the first thing I really like is hydraulic disc brakes. So on bikes at this price point, um, you're probably gonna see disc brakes, they're pretty common. They may not always be hydraulic. Uh, you might see some cable brakes. And so some of the advantages to a hydraulic brake is gonna be that it's gonna give you a little bit more power. It's gonna take a little less effort at the lever. So if you're doing some longer downhills, maybe you're gonna see less hand fatigue there. So I really like that. Uh, the other thing I like is um, it's a Tektro brake, which means it's gonna be easy to find brake pads for. It's gonna be easy to service. And that's a theme that's kind of on this bike that I really like. It's, there's no weird standards or anything like that. So if something breaks or you decide to upgrade something, you're gonna have an easy path to upgrade or replace parts. And I really like that about this bike. So the next thing we're gonna talk about, speaking of upgrades, is gonna be the dropper post. Uh, as a mountain biker, dropper seat post is critical. It's probably the most game-changing upgrade you can make to your bike. Uh, this bike does not come with one, but it has all the setup and is ready to accept one. And so it has the internal cable routing, which uh, there's a hole right down here to accept that dropper post when you decide to do one. Um, an upgrade I highly recommend doing, and not all bikes have that, and so it is nice to see that. So you decide to go that way, you are all set. Uh, the next thing I really like about this bike as well is uh, I like this fork, you know. Um, this is a, uh, there's two types of forks that you're gonna see on a mountain bike. Uh, you're gonna see either an air spring or a coil spring. Um, so most of the kind of higher-end bikes you see come with an air spring, but this coil actually feels really nice. Uh, when we were setting up for this video, we were commenting like, oh man, this feels really nice for a coil. Like it doesn't feel like you're really making too many compromises there. And so we were both pretty impressed by the, the RockShox Judy on this one. And then the uh, next thing I want to talk about here is the drivetrain. So this is the Shimano Alivio drivetrain. It's a 2x9. Uh, some, some advantages here to having the 2x up front is going to be a wider gear range. So if you live somewhere flatter, you're gonna have a nice top end. If you live somewhere kind of steep with lots of climbing, some nice low end gears there as well. So you're gonna be pretty covered uh, no matter where you ride this bike. Um, the other nice thing is it's a Shimano drivetrain. And like I was saying before, there's no uh, weird standards or anything like that on this one. So if you decide to upgrade something, you're not gonna have any issues with like your shop telling you, oh man, sorry, you're gonna need some new wheels to change that cassette, or sorry, we don't have that crank set anymore because it's some weird proprietary standard. Uh, it's all Shimano stuff, easy to find, easy to replace, easy to upgrade. And then uh, another thing I really like about this bike is the tires. So uh, <laughs> if you've ever bought a car before and you've looked at the tires that come on your car and you thought, this is a brand I've never heard of before, you know, and they last for 8,000 miles and then you're replacing them. Uh, that used to be a big deal in the bike industry, you know, like decades ago, uh, brands really cheap out on the tires. We haven't seen that recently and the Marin is no exception. Uh, WTB Trail Boss is actually one of my favorite tires. Um, it just rolls really well, it has great traction. Uh, I've been very happy with it. I'm glad to see it on this bike. And um, yeah, so it's nice to see some, names, some name brand components on here, some quality stuff. Um, so I think this would be a great option for you if you're getting into the sport, not quite sure what you're looking for yet or what kind of riding you want to do. So that is the Marin Palisades Trail 2. Uh, we've got these in stock and ready to go. If you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to give one of our gear advisors a call. We're all happy to walk you through and talk you, to you about the Palisade, see if it's gonna be the bike for you. And uh, thanks for watching and remember to keep pedaling.